little bit higher. Louise, this is the 40th poster I put up in the community center. I hope it's the last one. Hey, John. <laughs> what did you want, Ralph? I wanted to tell you to be careful with that hammer. <laughs> Louise, why do we have to have a stupid swap meet anyway? I mean, why don't we all just chip in $10 a piece and donate it to the community center? That way I won't have to come in tomorrow and waste an entire Saturday. Oh, put a crumpet in it, John. <laughs> it's for a very worthy cause. Besides, what else would you be doing tomorrow? Well, I could be home, sucking my thumb. <laughs> uh, personally, I'm kind of looking forward to the swap meet, yeah. I'm wondering how much I could get for my welterweight championship belt. <laughs> Obviously, you are not a sports fan. I love that in a woman. John, why don't you put some cold water on that thumb? And don't feel bad. It could happen to anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a klutz. <laughs> Hi, John. Hi. What are you doing? I'm putting cold water on my thumb. You really do make your own fun, don't you? <laughs> to the swap meet tomorrow. I wouldn't miss it for the world. We had them back home in Bartonsville, and I used to sell kisses. Mary Beth, you don't sell kisses at a swap meet. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'm gonna give them away. Hey, everybody. Um, I just took a phone message for Kate. Remember that aunt she was always talking about, uh, Aunt Phoebe? That kooky old broad that owns a fish joint? Oh, yes, the one who used to walk around in whaling boots with a parrot on her shoulder. She is sort of a nutcase. <laughs> what did Madame Looney Tunes do this time? She died. Oh, that's oh, too bad. The woman was a saint. <laughs> Ninety-three years old. What a shame. What did she die of? The woman was 93 years old. What did she die of? Her parachute didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I wonder uh, how are we gonna break this to Kate? Yeah. Well, these things are never easy. Mm. It's always so difficult to find the right words. Hey, everybody. Guess who I just ran into? Not your Aunt Phoebe. She's dead. <laughs> John just took the call, Kate. We're all so very sorry. Come and oh, sit down. Oh, no, poor Aunt Phoebe. Yeah, Kate, if it's any consolation, she passed away in her sleep. The funeral's tomorrow. And afterwards, they're gonna have a memorial dinner at that restaurant she owned. Oh, you know what? I better call and see if there's anything I no, can no, do. No, no, Kate, I, I don't think there's anything for you to do because um, your ex-husband called and he said Blake? that he was... Yeah. Yeah, he said he was gonna take care of everything because he figured you'd be too upset. Upset? Yeah. Is that what he said? Yeah. That I'd be upset? Where does he get off telling everyone that I'd be upset? That slime! 
doesn't sound like a nice guy on the phone. The man is despicable. Then again, we didn't have a very good connection. Do you know what he sent me for my birthday last year, John? A beautiful silver frame with a picture of him and his latest girlfriend in the nude. Well, it certainly isn't something you'd buy for your sale. Uh, maybe, maybe he's changed. Um, he said he was looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and I know why. We own a timeshare in the Caribbean. This year, I've got the condo for Thanksgiving, and he wants to trade me so he could use it for another one of his orgies. <laughs> Thanksgiving orgy, huh? <laughs> Red, if you talk to him, you might mention I make a very nice oyster stuffing. <laughs> what? Chop up the onions very fast. Stop it, Kirk. Kate, if you don't want Blake at the funeral, why don't you just call him up and tell him to butt out? Oh, yeah, sure, and have my whole family hate me. They love Blake. The man's a real charmer. He even had me fooled for five years. Uh, the best thing I can do is not show up. No, no, you really should go to the funeral, Kate. After all, you do only have one Aunt Phoebe. I mean, you did. Yeah, thank you, Ralph, but I'm not going to go tomorrow. I just know that if I see Blake, somehow he'll goad me into a screaming fight. Hey, I tell you what, um, much as I hate to miss this swap meet tomorrow, why don't I go with you to the funeral? And that way I could be, uh, you know, a calming influence. Oh, thanks, John, but there's no way I can be calm around him. He's the sleaziest man I've ever met. No offense, Kirk, but it's true. <laughs> hey, I understand. <laughs> Kate, Kate, it'll be all right, I promise. You know, just uh, keep an open mind, relax, and try to be flexible. I wish I had a nickel for every time a man asked me to do that. <laughs> You've got to stop thinking about Blake and think about what your Aunt Phoebe would have wanted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Louise. I really should go. And maybe with John there, I'll be okay. Sure, yeah. you'll be great. Yeah. Be right. Oh, poor Aunt Phoebe. You know, the last time I was with her, she was feeding her parrot, making jokes. She was so vibrant. So full of life. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Come on. So we, we know you. We know you. Yeah, we're very sorry. We're very sorry. Okay, right. Okay. 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 No matter what you think of me, I know how terrible it can be to lose a loved one. Well, I appreciate that, Kirk. Yeah. I want you to know that if there's anything I can do, anything at all, just to make it easier, you let me know. Kate, dear, we'll all chip in and, and send some nice flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Who said anything about chipping yet? <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Aunt Trudy, it's good to see you. I only wish it weren't under these circumstances. Yes, it's such a sad day, sweetheart. I don't know what we would have done if we hadn't had Blake to take care of everything. <laughs> Such a dear man. You were so foolish to let him get away. Oh, Blake! Kate, you cannot hit a little old lady. I could if you'd left go of my arms. <laughs> All right. Oh, will you look at him? Get a load of that phony charm. And they're eating it up. You know, he's probably telling them something awful about me. Oh, come on, Kate. They're not talking about you. Will you stop being so paranoid? <laughs> oh, oh, perfect. He's coming over. All right, all right, all right. Remember, relax. Be calm. Hi, Kate. It's good to see you. What's that supposed to mean? Kate. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm John Lazy. Blake McCarran. Yeah, you'll have to excuse Kate. She's uh, very upset, you know, because of the funeral. Oh, I understand. Yeah. Sometimes it helps to uh, talk about other things, like that little problem we're having with our condo. <laughs> oh, there's no problem. You're not getting it. Kate. Blake. Look, I'm not going to give up that condo just so you can impress your latest mattress mate. How do you like that, John? She's still jealous. <laughs> jealous? <laughs> <laughs>
Look, I'll show you. <laughs> uh, look, uh, I don't think this is the right time to be discussing a timeshare. No, it certainly is not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go in and enjoy the funeral. <laughs> look, I... I apologize, uh, John, but every time Kate and I get together, uh, sparks fly. Yeah, hey, I understand. You do? Yeah. Well, good. Then maybe you can help me with this timeshare thing. You know, just, just put in a little word for me the next time you and Kate are shaking the old headboard. <laughs> Listen, uh, l let's get this straight here, okay? Uh, uh, Kate is not sleeping with me. Oh, I know what you're going through. The woman is cold. <laughs> Afraid of a little frostbite? <laughs> uh, you mind if we don't talk about this anymore? I know, I know. Listen, on our honeymoon, I had to put her nighty in the freezer just to warm it up. <laughs> hey, Blake. I'm not kidding. Why do you think we didn't have kids? I was afraid you'd give birth to a penguin. <laughs> Goodbye, Blake. No, no, wait a second, John. Wait, wait a minute. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You get Kate to give me that timeshare for Thanksgiving, and I will personally set you up with a woman guaranteed to melt your belt buckle. Oh, listen, Slick, get away from me. No, wait a minute. John, just think about it. I said get away from me. And I'll be there in the ocean spray that kisses your cheek. Those are the words that Phoebe requested. Look, I've been telling you for the last half hour, we get away from me. She was a good person. A kind person. Phoebe will be missed by us all. Would you get the hell away from Good me? Job! like this that makes him a special member of our group. Yeah, how much do you think we can get for it? Nothing. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Filbert, go Tom Good. Would you be a dear and put those empty boxes in the storeroom? Now, what have you brought us, Mrs. P? I cleaned out my guest closet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Men can be so forgetful. <laughs> Especially when they're in a hurry. <laughs> I popped out of a cake. <laughs> I've never said this to anyone before. You're my idol. <laughs> all right, gangway. Hello, Kurt. Not old. Thank me. I know I shouldn't part with this, but it's for the good of the community center, and that's the kind of guy I am. All right, Kurt. What have you brought us? Oh, nothing special. Just. A portrait of yours truly, painted by none other than the father of Cubism himself. That's right. Signor Pablo Picasso! <laughs> I just thought Pablo, you know, I hope he doesn't find out that I'm giving this up. Oh. Yeah, he just painted a couple of months ago when we were running with the bulls down in Pamplona. <laughs> I believe your mouth is still running with the balls. <laughs> Picasso died years ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> and so did Elvis. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. Hello, John. We weren't expecting you. <laughs> How was the uh, funeral? 
funeral? Oh, oh, it's uh, great. It was great. It was a lovely affair. So, how's our swap me going? But, but what about Kate? Was she able to contain herself? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a great container. Model mourner. So, oh, look at all this nice well, stuff. What are you here. doing here? Huh? I thought there was a memorial dinner after the funeral. Oh, uh, there is. I just couldn't bear the thought of missing this swap me. <laughs> what wonderful stuff. Is something wrong? No, no, no. Uh, don't do anything rash. Let me go with you to the funeral, Kate. I'll be a calming influence. I'll make sure you don't cause a scene with Blake. Why did I ever listen to this maniac? Why? What did the maniac do? I'll tell you what he did. At the cemetery, in front of all my relatives, he threw my ex-husband into the grave. What? He threw my ex-husband into the grave. <laughs> it wasn't funny. I turn my back for one second and Blake is lying in a grave and good old supportive John here is running the other way, hurtling over tombstones. I, I only hurtled over two. Uh, DeMarco and Lipschitz. Now listen. I did not throw him in the grave. He tripped and he fell. After you pushed him. I was getting to that. <laughs> Look, John, what on earth did Blake do to make you so angry? Uh, no. Oh, come on, John. No. I really want to know. Uh, he, uh, he said something I can't repeat. I'm too much of a gentleman. John, would you at least go and apologize to my family? And while you're at it, would you tell them that I had nothing to do with this? They think I put you up to it. Oh, oh. God, what a mess. Well, okay, may maybe you're right. Maybe I, I... I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have lost my temper. Maybe I do owe your family an apology. Oh, thank you, John. No way am I going to apologize to that blick. What the devil is that noise? <laughs> idea, Kate. Why don't I just write a note of apology and let them pass it around? Oh, no, John, what are, you, what are you afraid of? Oh, look at them. They all have knives and forks. <laughs> and those things that crack things. John, please, come on. This is my family. I'd I... like to think that one day they'll speak to me again. Now, come Kate, on. Kate, please. No. Could we have everyone's attention, please? You get out of here and take your macho muscle man with you. <laughs> no, and, and Trudy, everyone, p please, just listen. John has something he'd like to say. Okay, I, uh... John? <clears throat> <laughs> yes, um, I'm, I'm sorry that this uh, thing had to happen today. I shouldn't have lost my temper. A lesser man would make up some excuse, but I'm going to be perfectly honest with all of you. I've been under some very heavy medication lately. <laughs> my condition is aggravated when I'm around fresh soil, you see. And I was warned by my doctor. I, okay, okay. Uh, I didn't mean to be disrespectful to the memory of dear old Aunt Phoebe. <laughs> That's Aunt Phoebe? Oof. Well, anyway, I just wanted to say that uh, I, I'm sorry that this unfortunate accident had to happen. Accident? 
You animal. We know why you attacked this poor, sensitive, lovable man who we all adore. And we know who put you up to it. That woman who calls herself my niece. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This, she's not the villain here. All right, all right. You want to know why I pushed him in? I'll tell you why hey, I John, pushed him John, 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 now that won't be necessary. Look, I think it took a lot of courage for this man to humble himself in front of our family. John, old pal, you've earned yourself a lobster. <laughs> Waiter, you want to get this man a bib? And the same goes for Kate. And I insist that we all just forgive Kate and let's welcome her back into the family. I know I do. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's put those hands together. Hey, John, no hard feelings? Get away from me. <laughs> okay, then, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go see if I can clean some of this mud off my suit. about what happened today. Well, for whatever it's worth, if you still want to use the timeshare over Thanksgiving, you're welcome to it. Well, thanks, Kate. Yeah. yeah. Forgiven? Absolutely. Look, it was all just a misunderstanding. I, I made a little joke, and I guess that uh, John took it the wrong way. A joke? Why? Why? What did you say to John? Oh, that's just something about you being cold. Oh, <laughs> your old cold Kate routine. No, I, actually, I made a little riddle, and it was, uh... <laughs> it was kind of clever, if I do say so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what? What? Okay, get this. I asked John, I said, what's the difference between Aunt Phoebe in the coffin and you in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> and what's the difference? <laughs> the difference is Aunt Phoebe is warmer, and she only has her arms crossed. <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> Dominic's got this rich girlfriend, but her father doesn't exactly like Dom. This is Chris Maloney. Watch the Finelli Boys. Next. Captain Devane is linked to corruption, and only Hunter can clear his name. This is Fred Dreyer, the dramatic Hunter. Tonight, 